So what's going on YouTube, my name is Meho and welcome to another Vue.js tutorial in which we're gonna get started with components real quick and see why you would need them and uh, basically how to create them. So um, components, if you're coming from another framework like React or Angular, you pretty much have the idea that components are reusable and basically that's the main point of using a component, right? You can create a component out of a header on your website so that you can just make sure to basically place all the um, place your header component at all the places you want header to appear. And for example, later on when you want to change the logo, you don't have to like go to a hundred places to change it. You can just change it that component, and all the dependencies would automatically update. Obviously, because they are using that particular component, right? So um, Vue also provides us to create components, and it's pretty easy actually. So what you have to do is just before you instantiate your view instance, what you have to do to create a component is write view.component and then the name of your HTML tag which would serve as a component. So what you want to paste here or write here rather is um, let's just say view is awesome. Right. And uh, the next thing is an object which contains information pretty much it's similar to this object which we are passing here but it misses this el property because it's again it's just a component and a couple of more and it provides you with a template option which is basically obviously the template of how your component should look like so what you can do is basically say div class of a circle and i'm just going to keep it real simple for now just a simple circle and yeah, this, that's basically it. Let's just stick to that. So what we can do is basically define a circle here real quick. I'm going to say this is a width of 100 pixel, height of 100 pixel, height. There we go. And uh, um, background red and border radius 50%. There we go. Hit save. And now what you want to do to use this component is basically inside your targeting element write the name of your component view is awesome like that and it's safe you see we get this big red circle here so the thing about um, reusability is that you can see if I copy and paste this a bunch of times here you would see that we get three circles right and each of these three circles is independent of each other, right? Because they are separate components created by view. Now, obviously we could provide different properties here as well and expand its um, use and basically how it could help us. But there's a little twist to the data property, which I'm gonna show you why it is and how you can fix that in the next video. So that's all basically for this video. And if you liked it, then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. Wait, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to become awesome by going at codedam.com and learning various different things among a community of developers. This video will end in one second. Good luck.